Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, I see that the people of Zimbabwe today aren't very happy because a new law is coming into force that punishes parents for the children's crimes. Now, we've all thought about this, haven't we? In our media, when a child commits a really serious crime, we all shake our head and we say, oh, where's the parents? How is it that a child was able to do such a thing or even say such a thing? And we all kind of think about the parents. Of course, our legal system is not designed for the parents to be punished. Maybe questions would be asked by the police if the parents knew about it, just to make sure that they weren't involved. But children are children. And here, the crimes of children are never passed to anybody else, unless that person was directly involved. So this new law is the kind of thing that people joke about here. You know, we often say, oh, it's the parents that should be punished, not the child. But actually, Zimbabwe has taken this and made it a law. Now, I don't know why. I'm not sure if maybe it's one of these laws which will never be used, or whether it's a law which really will be used, but everyone's talking about it, and it's something which um, is now in force, but maybe it's just there as a deterrent. I don't know. Now, I first heard this story a few days ago, <clears throat> on Deutsche Villa. Deutsche Villa is the German news agency. Uh, it's it's like a live TV and radio channel. And Deutsche Villa have an African service. In English, it's very good. It's very good, the Deutsche Villa African service. And I usually listen to it because I quite enjoy an audio drama called Crime Fighters. This is a, an audio crime thriller for young Africans. Four young detective teams are the protagonists of Crime Fighters. Deutsche, Vol Deutsche Villa's gripping new series of radio dramas which tackles challenges and dangers faced by African youths. This drama is produced in five languages. The episodes are quite short, and it's not new anymore. It's been running for, I think, a few years. And every story um, lasts about eight to ten minutes, and the juvenile investigators try to clear up murders and drug fraud. Um, and also they deal with things like big-scale poaching and land grabbing, things which are issues right now in Africa. Of course, Africa is a big place. Um, one of these dramas has even dealt with terrorism. So it's very good. So I would recommend that if you like radio entertainment, Try to listen to Crime Fighters. It's not only on Deutsche Villa, even though they produce it, you can hear it in many radio stations around the world. Um, Deutsche Villa's partner stations um, unanimously, uh, they, they unanimously gave positive responses, which um, pushed Deutsche Villa to produce this in five languages. Right now you can hear it in English, French, Portuguese, Hausa, and Kiswahili. 
is that Swahili? Is it or a type of Swahili? Um, <clears throat> the production with local actors uh, takes place in Kenya, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Tanzania, and Mozambique. Um, only one of them ran into problems. That was the the language of uh, Amharic. The Ethiopian uh, government didn't like it, and they stopped it. Uh, one of the actresses from Kenya, uh, Wanjiku Mavaura, I think. Sorry, I'm not very good at pronouncing these names. Uh, has been very vocal in supporting it. She says, crime fighters addresses a huge challenge young women and young men in particular are facing in Africa. And it's broadcast in more than 250 radio stations throughout Africa. Um, and it's all over Deutsche Villa on their social media platforms. So have a look for crime fighters. So, yeah, I, I was listening to Deutsche Villa the other day, well, the other night, because it was very late. I think it was around 1 a.m. And I, I was listening to it on the World Radio Network, which is a relay service for radio stations around the world. And that's that's where I found it, um, this uh, new law. While I was waiting for my drama, this was in the news, and they were very upset about it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's um, something which is ongoing, this, uh, this new law. It's been passed but there's been protests about it. You know, I love hearing African news. And one of the problems I have here in the UK is I don't get enough of it. I mean, I feel like if a chicken drops dead in Turkey, I'll hear about it. But in Africa, it's just assumed that it's such a dangerous place that when there's violence... People think, oh, well, it's only Africa. <laughs> so I never get to hear about it. So listening to these African news services, which are in English, allows me to hear exactly what's happening in Africa. And <clears throat> I'm pleased about that. Um, I, I like to know real raw news about what's happening around the world. Let's look a little bit farther into this law. So parents and guardians will now become liable for crimes committed by their children under the Children's Amendment Act. The newly gazette Children's Amendment Act says that parents who fail to discipline their children, leaving them to commit crimes, will be liable to criminal charges. I don't know what they mean by disciplining children. Here in the UK, we're not allowed to hit our children. We can't, we can't spank them. You know, when we were growing up, if you did something wrong, you got spanked. Your father or your mother just took their hand and they hit you, sometimes hard. Or my family... If I did something wrong, they would wait. They would wait until everyone had forgotten about what had happened. And then the punishment would come. That was worse because you would be, you would be waiting for the punishment. It didn't appear. And then when you slowly started to feel secure, then there was the punishment. So a few days later, you could be sitting in the garden... And suddenly, a bucket of water thrown over you. And your mother will say, that's for the other day. And then sometimes we were punished for no reason. I remember being slapped by my mother. And I said, what? what's that for? And she said, nothing. Just in case you were thinking about it. Yeah, so those days are all gone. Right, so it says here, a parent or a guardian can be charged and convicted 
um, if a child commits um, a crime, if it's proven that the parents did not take reasonable steps to stop the child from doing it. And I came into law, I think it was this week or last week. Uh, the law defines a child as anyone under the age of 18. And according to the Act, <clears throat> a parent or guardian who fails to prevent their child from committing a crime shall be punished for the offence that the child committed. It says here, any person, including a parent or guardian of a child, who encourages a child to commit an offence, or trains a child in the commission of an offence, or knowingly provides a child with facilities to commit an offence, or being a parent or guardian of a child fails to take reasonable steps to ensure that the child does not commit an offence, where the parent or guardian of the child was in a position to do so, they shall be guilty of an offence and liable for the punishment that the child would have received. Mm, it doesn't sound good, does it? And then it goes on to say the law also says a parent or guardian who denies medical treatment or access to medical treatment to a child in their care can also be punished. Oh, so a lot of things there, huh? Mm. Um, it's a kind of thing we often joke about, but in all seriousness, I, I'm not sure I would like that law to be used, especially the last part. I mean, it sounds like you're supposed to know what your child is doing. I mean, of course, if you did know your child was about to do something bad, then you would be liable anyway. I'm sure it's the same here. So I'm not sure if this law is going to be used to make, uh, make it the same as other countries or if they're really going to enforce this morally so that the parents are classed as bad people and should be punished. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of open for interpretation now, isn't it? So very interesting, very interesting. And that's it, uh, the news from Zimbabwe. Um, if you do get the chance to listen to Crime Fighters, the African drama I told you about, it is very good. Um, by our kind of Western standards, it might seem a little bit basic because it's not aimed at adults. So it's, it's quite a simple drama. It reminds me of that one that uh, my parents used to listen to when I was a child. Do you remember Unshackled? Uh, <laughs> Unshackled was, uh, was a very basic radio drama that's still running, I think, from the 1930s. Uh, it has one of these organs in the background. You know, it's a really traditional radio drama focusing on uh, young people's lives who were alcoholics and drug addicts and <clears throat> gang leaders and how they supposedly encountered religion and changed their ways. Oh, oh, I remember being forced to listen to that. I was surprised actually to hear that uh, it's still running. It's uh, quite a big thing. It comes from Pacific Garden Mission. Um, so... It would be something like that, crime fighters, but of course it's not religious, which is good. Uh, crime fighters, definitely uh, have a listen to that. I think you'll be very surprised. It really highlights uh, what help young Africans need growing up in a, an increasingly crazy world to keep them away from things like drugs, gangs. So, yeah... Uh, do have a listen to that. And that's it from me. So take care. Have a good day. Bye.